Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Naya and if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to have you here today. As you guys can see by the name of the title, I will be sharing with you guys what is the cost of living in Groningen as a student and I will talk from both perspective kind of of what it costs to live in Groningen as an international student and as a non-international student which basically means as a European student so yeah let's get right on the video so first of all if you don't know what Groningen is or where Groningen is just quick explanation Groningen is a city located in the north of the Netherlands and I think if I am not mistaken is the biggest university city so if you're thinking of coming to Groningen the reason why I decided to make this video is because when I was Thinking of applying to Groningen, I looked on YouTube for a video like this and I found one video where a girl was kind of interviewing people on the street but I wanted to share with you guys about my experience after living in Groningen for over 10 months I think July will be exactly 11 months or 10 months, somewhere there but uh, yeah, so I will be sharing with you guys just straight up, real talk, I wrote down all the main things that I want to share with you guys that I wish I had known before moving to Groningen um, about my experience specifically but I will also talk about the range of prices from the conversations I have with my friends how much they pay because if they, do, they don't live in the same area where I live or if they live in a first year student house all of this so I hope this video helps you guys and I hope I go over all of the details and if you have any questions, so always, you can leave it down below. So let's get right on the video. Boop. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys, which I guess is the main cost besides the tuition fees, but the main cost is rent. In my case, I live really close, basically in the city center and I pay monthly rent of 300 euros plus expenses, which is about 65 60 euros a month it depends on obviously how much energy and how much electricity we use but uh, yeah 300 euros of rent 65 of uh, expenses plus we pay water every three months or so and it's about 10 to 13 euros so in total about 375 somewhere there but uh, no really 365 plus the 10 every three months so it's not that bad and my room is a 15 square meter room, really close to the city center, five minute walk into my university building, which I've never been inside because of COVID. Yeah, another video for another time. <laughs> but yeah, so it's not that expensive in my regards for what I've seen and because it's the Netherlands, um, but I also wanna say that this is one of the cheapest places I found and I was really lucky to find this place and amazing roommates as well and the location is incredible but usually the average of a student place here in Groningen it also depends where but I think all around the city is between 300 to 500 euros it also depends what you want if you want to share if you want a private studio one thing that I want to say with you guys, especially if you're thinking of coming to Kroning in the upcoming year or if you're a first year student, most first year students, what they do is there is this association organization kind of thing, which I think is connected to the university, but I'm not entirely sure, which is called SSH and they have buildings around the whole city, such as Absolute Student House, Nido Student House, which are some of these houses save the room specifically for first year students. I have most of my friends living in those students' houses because it's really easy, it assures you with the room, clean bathroom, like you get what you're expected to get. While sometimes, for example, I am living in a house, in an apartment, it's like a student house, but it's the contract is between me and the landlord, it's not like a specific student house, say for students. Um, so yeah, I have three roommates, myself, we're two guys and, one, and two girls and I found it through Facebook. So that's another option too, you can find your place through Facebook, you can find it online, there's so many ways. But yeah, in terms of cost, it ranges between 300 to 500 euros depending on the location and how much you're willing to pay and what exactly you're looking for. So, when it comes to transportation, which is another really important thing, I think when you're moving to any city, especially as a student, 
Transportation, as you probably can imagine, in the Netherlands, everybody moves around with bikes. So either you can buy a bike or you can kind of rent a bike. There is this system here in Groningen, I'm not exactly sure if it's in the entire the Netherlands, I think it's in some of the major cities in the Netherlands, but it's called Swap Pits. This is not a sponsor at all, but I just really like what they do, which is basically kind of like a you get a bike on a membership basis kind of thing. You pay monthly for your bike, which is I'm paying right now. I only got a Swap Pits for like a month and a half because I'm living in a month, but uh, it is about 13 euros a month and then there is an initial fee of like 19 20 or something like this But what is awesome about this is that if anything happens to your bike You can basically take it to them if it gets broken they fix it or they give you another one It's like an insurance for a bike. Well, what I did first was for my first nine months here I just bought a bike which it worked but then it's usually not the greatest bikes because the greatest greatest bikes will be quite expensive but I paid about 110 120 for the bike I bought plus um, the basket and plus the chain and that's me nine months so honestly it depends how much you're willing to spend and if you buy a bike and you get a great bike then that's awesome but also swap feet I think it's a great opportunity so around a year whether it's with a swipe fit or buying a bike about 120. again you can find different prices for different bikes but for what i heard you can surely get bikes for way cheaper price i know people that go buy for like 50 to 60 euros so yeah it depends how much you're willing to spend as well the cost of food and how much you spend weekly or monthly this really depends on what you eat, how much you eat, yeah, many things. But in my case, personally, I spend about 150 to 200 euros a month. Although I've been staying mostly right now at my boyfriend's place, I've been spending a little more, maybe like 250, 300 euros. But on average, myself, I had a plant-based diet. And yeah, I found it quite cheap in comparison to other places that I lived, um, especially as a student. I want to point out what again. I want to point out that there are different supermarkets here, but the two main ones are Jumbo and Albert Heijn. Tip for all you dear students: I there's nothing against the supermarket, but Jumbo is just cheaper than Albert Heijn. Like I literally went and bought the exact same groceries at Jumbo and at Albert Heijn, and I pay another 10 extra euros at Albert Heijn. So if you can. Try to stick to Jumbo, especially as a student. Again, depends where you live, depends where it's more convenient and how much you're willing to spend or not. But uh, yeah, and then another great thing about Groningen is that every week, two to three times a week, I'm not exactly sure because I don't always go, but there is the like uh, market in the city which you can find all your food, like fruits, vegetables, whatever you need, even flowers if you want to decorate your room and it's like fresh and local and it's even cheaper than the supermarket um, if you get lucky but uh, yeah 150 200 for my guy friends or even girlfriends who are non-vegan they spend about yeah more like 300 euros a month on food but again depends on your budget but i think it's pretty doable number four that i wanted to share with you guys or the expense number four it's uh, leisure time and in leisure time I want to include sports so if you're a student either at the University of Groningen or at Hansa which are the two main schools here in Groningen you can get something called an aclocar which is basically like a sports club which has every single sport you can possibly imagine and you pay 60 euros for the entire year so for this academic year and then you can go at this aclo club and practice all the sports you want or you can try i think it's an awesome opportunity because one is really affordable like 60 euros for the whole year 
and it allows you to try as many sports as you like. You can go, you can book a court and go play beach volleyball with your friends, or you can book a tennis court, and it doesn't have an extra cost. But if you want to join a specific sports club, such as the swimming club or the rowing team or something like this, there is an extra fee. I'm not exactly sure how much it is for every single sport, but I can talk about the sport that my boyfriend does, which is called Survivor Run, and they pay so six to the year for the aqua car plus i think it's every three months something like 25 euros or something like this so again it's really cheap and it's like honestly i think it's really a luxury when i lived in vancouver i would pay 45 euros for the gym or so so imagine paying 60 a year to try as many sports as you want it's affordable and it's a great opportunity for students and to meet new people so it was great and the other thing that I want to add with leisure time, which all students are probably thinking, especially first year student about drinking how much is the cost of going out for dinner or grabbing a bite or drinks. So I want to put this here, like the specific prices of how much a Coke costs, a beer costs, shalala, shalala, shalala. But mm, I would say it's a bit more expensive than what I'm used to spending. I used to live in France the year before moving here and obviously France is going to be cheaper than the Netherlands but I think Groningen, because it's a student city, is cheaper than where I grew up in Canada or it's, it really depends where you're coming from like if you're coming from Switzerland and you're moving to Groningen you surely will find it cheaper but if you're coming, I don't know, from a country where drinks are... or Germany you might find it a bit more expensive here so it really depends but I don't think it's that bad and again it depends what's your budget and how much you're willing to spend but I think for a drink or something you can expect to pay 250 to 4 euros so that's the range of what I would spend per drink um, but yeah I hope that helps and if anything I can leave that link down below and if it's any specific you guys want to know and then food I would say for a meal, be willing to spend between, yeah, I guess you can find between 10 to 20 euros really, but it depends on what is it you want. But I say you can get a pretty nice, decent meal for 12, 10, 11 euros, 15 maybe. Um, one of my favorite restaurants here, which I tend to go all the time, and again, not a sponsor whatsoever, I just really like the food, is called Magoya, and I pay, I think, per dish like 15 euros or something like this. but such a good food, great amount of food and such a great service. So again, I don't think I keep on saying again and I think you guys got it by now, but I don't think Groningen is that expensive for students because it's literally a city prepared for students. You guys can probably hear the music of my stu my my students <laughs> of my roommates in the background. But um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there is anything else I want to add in this video. If you guys have any questions specific to Groningen or to the Netherlands in general, costs, I mean, we talked about rent, we talked about transportation, we talked about food, leisure time, sports. Um, yeah, the thing is, it's such a great city for students because it's prepared, it's literally like the infrastructure of the city is prepared for students. The university buildings, the campus, the roads are all prepared for bikes, for students and also like the university and everybody's really welcoming and willing to help and I know this is not cost related but everybody in the Netherlands speak English so it's really not a problem in any regard, like honestly I've never had a main issue when it came to cost or rent or anything like this. One thing I want to say for my fellow international students is that it's not as easy to find accommodation because you're an international student and because most likely for many of you you probably can't come to see this in advance especially now during the pandemic and everything so I would say look in advance Post in Facebook, join groups, look at student houses, just so the time when time comes that you want to move here, you're not like, oops, it's a month and I don't have a place to live. So yeah, but it's a great city and if you guys are thinking of coming to Groningen, I completely encourage it. I never been inside the university because of 
COVID and the pandemic. I've been studying online the whole time. But it's a beautiful city, it's super safe, the buildings are gorgeous, at least from the outside, and the people are super friendly. You guys are gonna love it. I am moving away for other personal reasons. It's nothing to do with the city, with the country, with the studies relatively, but that's my personal choice. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you have any questions or anything, leave it down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And one last thing that I wanted to say guys, sorry that I didn't upload a video last week. It's just because I had a really bad cold and I just wanted to get better before making a video. I didn't want to look like I was basically almost about to faint in the video. <laughs> but um, yes, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye.